Okay, welcome back to another edition of the Volcker Report. Uh, right here we have a uh, chart of GLD. This is the uh, the gold uh, ETF. Uh, this one tracks the gold features and gold spot pretty well. All right, um, looking at uh, Tuesday's price action, um, we did have um, weak bids going into the close. We closed up two cents, uh, up zero two percent. But here's the interesting thing. On the uh, on the swing VIX, we have a pulse scan reading of 44.60. Okay, the market pulse is positive since it's trading above its zero signal line, and the pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX, creating an up channel as of 12 periods ago. Now the swing VIX is above 39. This is where it usually tops out. The swing VIX usually forms tops and bottoms before the underlying security. Now the last signal that we had was an overbought sell 65 periods ago. And the swing VIX has just reached its highest value in the last 14 periods. This is bullish. Now the reason why you wouldn't be looking to sell short here is for a couple of reasons. This market, the GLD, is bullish. It is in a bona fide bullish uptrending market. Now, if anything, it could pull back toward its uh, trend line support for this move. But that still gives us a lot of wiggle room. Okay? Now, you could be stopped out uh, in the short term, but it will resume its bullish uh, momentum. We're going to get into some more of these technicals here, and I'll, I'll be uh, exposing why I believe that this is the case. All right. Um... Since the last swing VIX signal, GLD's price has increased an amazing 3.69% and has ranged from a high of 119.97 to a low of 114.08. Now moving into uh, deeper into the technicals, take a look at this. Currently the trend is still remaining in an uptrend, it's decent, and it's intact. Prices are holding above the trend line support which is at 107.18, okay? So that's that's quite a bit of pullback wiggle room, all right. Now, as far as the trend strength, the trend strength though is weak based on yesterday's close. We're range bound now. Prices have ceased trending at the moment and have become consolidated at this time. And normally, what this means is that the market is put in a short-term top, and that bulls may be liquidating some of their uh, positions, taking a little bit of profit off the table. It does not mean that this is the end of the road and it's going to pull back necessarily. All right. Uh, as far as trend line retracements are concerned, we're well above our support areas, which is great. As far as the um, intraday price projections for Wednesday, we have resistance at 119.88 and support at 119.68. Very narrow range. As far as the weekly price projections, we have weekly support at 116.40 and weekly resistance at 118.42, which we did break out above that, and we're probably going to remain above that. Uh, getting into weekend, weeks in, that 118.42 should, should hold substantially um, and, and, and get us to the next leg up. Now looking at our monthly price projections, uh, our bull market uptrend 12 to 18 month price target for GLD is $156.31 a share. Our long term trend line resistance is currently at 123.56. And our long-term trend line support is currently at 107.18. So we're doing okay here. Now, going further out, if we do develop a bubble in gold, we are not in a bubble in gold. Gold is not in a bubble. Our phase one bubble, 24 to 36 month price target, which would confirm that we're in a bubble, is if we get to $189.06 a share. <coughs> Excuse me. In the GLD. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I can say we're in the bubble, and we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But as of right now, we're not in a bubble. We still have much upside to go here. Much upside. All right. We do have entry point recommendations for Wednesday's trading. System generated signal is a third pulse wave. We are in the process of developing a possible third pulse wave. If we do that, that long entry will be 123.56. 
our initial target will be 156.31 with a stop and reverse at 119.58. Okay. The reason why we put it into the stop and reverse is because if filled at the 123.56 and we don't get the muscle behind it that we anticipate, we would want to reverse at that point because then we're going to test the trend line support at 107 and we would like to be short for 123 if we're going to head, I mean for 119.58 if we're going to head back down to 107. That'll give us our money back and then some. Alright? So that's how we look uh, at the GLD. <coughs> Okay, switching our focus now a little bit, uh, we're going to look at stocks. Uh, instead of looking at the down the S&P right now, we're going to take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is your traditional quote-unquote smart money because it represents the new, uh, the new age, the new te technological age, the information age. The Dow is really the back during the industrial period now, we're in the technology period, so I like the, um, the Q. Some people still like the, uh, to use the Dow Transportation and the Dow Transports, that's fine, but I like the key. I like the NASDAQ 100. Anyway, looking into the technicals on this one, a little bit different. We had uh, weak bids going into yesterday's close. Uh, we closed up 57 cents, up 1.28%. Prices closed higher than they opened, which is great. Uh, we have a pulse scan reading of negative 29.5%. The market pulse is negative since it's trading below its zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX, creating a downtrend channel as of five periods ago. The swing VIX is below negative 29. Okay, this is where it usually forms support. The swing VIX usually forms support before the underlying security. So you got to remember that. The last signal was an overbought sell four periods ago. And the swing VIX has just reached its lowest value in the last 14 periods. So this is bearish. The swing VIX has set a new 14 period low, while the securities price has not. This is a bearish divergence. Now, since the pulse scan leads the market three to five days out, we'll wait to see if downward pressure develops. Since the last swing VIX signal, the uh, QQQ's price has decreased uh, pretty amazing 2.78% in its range from a high of $46.95 a share to a low of $44.30 a share. Now currently the, the trend is neutral within the bearish Kumo consolidation cloud. If you recall, see the, this is the bearish Kumo cloud here. Okay. Now what we need to have happen between now and Friday is this. We have a possible trend reversal of upside bullish breakout risk. That's what we're looking for. We're actually calling for this thing to try to break out again. One last hoorah. Now, a close below $44.18 this week is needed to reestablish the downward trend. However, a close above $45.94 will establish a new upward trend. All right, so that's what we're looking at. We're looking to see which way the market is going to break out. Now, remember, the longer markets stay consolidated, the more powerful the breakouts or breakdowns will be. As far as trend line retracement, we do have one to speak of. Right now, uh, the close is currently below its short-term trend line retracement at $45.56. That is a key number to watch in tomorrow's trading. We need a close above $45.56. As for intraday uh, price projections, we have resistance at $45.61 and support at $45.19. Now, our weekly price projection, we have resistance at $47.19 and support at $44.30. All right. We like to get a, a good entry point on our longs, and we would like to be able to add to this trade at 47.19. We look to add at that price if we can get there. As for volatility, the QQQs uh, close above the lower band by 30%. And as far as being in play, we have a rally alert, uh, market bottom. Possible breakout is likely due to strong market pulse projections. Be on the lookout. The market may rally on you, even if the futures uh, show substantial pullback in the overnight. Remember, Dow 50 is considered neutral. That means the Dow can be up or down 50 points and be considered neutral. All right. Anything above or beyond the 50 points is considered an actual trend. 
alright? Just FYI. Long entry tomorrow at 45.81, profit target 48.39, and a stop loss of 44.99. There are no short positions for the security in play at this time. So we will call this a doomsday rally. I believe that we're going to get one last push. It's going to take us into September, and then sometime between mid-September and the first week of October, we go down and we go down hard very very hard so trade them as we see them remember take what you can give nothing back